What is up you guys? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am back with another video. Obviously you see I'm in my car. I just got back from the gym. It has something to eat. But I wanted to talk to you guys about spiritual journey and the process in your spiritual journey and how everything like ends up like connecting at the end not even at the end because we're always growing we're always spiritually evolving as a soul you know we are here to evolve as your spiritual your soul right your spiritual journey is always forever no matter what we're ever evolving but the start of your journey is is pretty crucial um if you guys don't know usually when you start meditating and you start to like really get in tune with your own self and start getting into your spiritual path you a lot of things start to come up emotionally like like dark night of the soul usually happens and you know usually dark night of the soul happens not only in your spiritual own spiritual journey but also in the tf journey as well but i don't want to get into that too much because you know I don't really like labels like that but it does happen you can it can happen with a soulmate it can happen with a catalyst even with a karmic at times because people are are meant to enter your life for a reason and sometimes activate your spiritual journey or your spiritual growth whether that be platonic friendships or um partnerships you know sometimes children can be uh 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 something for you you know but you got to understand on the spiritual journey you go through this process of dark night of the soul where you're you're the part of your um version and ego side of yourself is like why am i faced face to face to this part you get what i'm saying like why am i faced with myself right now why am i facing this dark night of the soul and facing like all these things that I do not like and it's meant to come up you got to look at yourself it's basically like your ego death and the shadow work all that comes during dark night of the soul dark night of the soul comes and it raises up these emotions it raises up these wounds and then you have to face them and that's when your ego death goes in and your shadow work comes in and that is just it's a big part of your spiritual journey because you got to understand the ego isn't real. The ego is just a false perception of all these false made up beliefs that you have accumulated during your life here on earth, right? And you start to realize that your thoughts aren't real. And when you get to that place in your spiritual journey where you realize, hey, these are not me. This is just a false perception of myself. You start to come to alignment like, oh... And then the more you grow on your spiritual journey, you're like, everything is connected. As above, so below, as within, so without. The way you perceive your side, perceive yourself inside is how you will view everything on the outside. Therefore, if you believe in love, love will be attracted to you, right? Love on the outside. If you feel like you're not worthy of love, you are going to attract those partners who are on who are emotionally unavailable you will attract how you feel inside like i said as above so below so be, you know so within as within so without everything is one we are all connected we are connected with nature we are connected with the animals we are connected with everything and once you get to that evolution in that evolvement where quantum physics starts to really make sense that everything is one we are all energy everything is energy and I just, I just wanted, I just, I wanted to come up here and talk to you guys about the spiritual journey and the spiritual path and how amazing it is. It is, it is amazing in every single way, though sometimes it is emotional, it is dark, it is bright, it is sadness, it is madness, it is, it is all everlasting and every single emotion that is felt is meant to be felt and processed because that's what happens on your spiritual journey you are breaking through the barriers of your old self that is not real this is a false perception this is this is what i developed growing up through my you know my perception of reality of what it was to me 
it is no longer that so you start to shed off this old skin this old version of you and you start to forget how did i even know that person who is that person you know now that i sit here with myself and i start to be like i am not the same person i was three years ago four years ago five years ago two years ago and I am always changing, I am always growing, I am always evolving. And to really sit here and be like, who was that person? Why was that? I, why was I that person? What was she to me? Now you gotta understand, you have to love her. Love those past versions of yourself because they were meant to be there for a reason. Sometimes it's to survive, sometimes it's safety. But most of all is part of your, your mind be like, I have to do this. It's that ego part, I have to be this, I can't change this, you know? And once you shed your ego, you start to realize that it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter where you are. Just know that you're here and now, present in the now. In the future, the future doesn't matter, the past doesn't matter. What matters is what's happening right now. As now, you know, right in the here and now, that's the book that I read, right in the here and now where you you have to be present with life we're so distracted by everything distracted about our phones distracted about life events distracted by everything everything is meant to distract us but once we sit with ourselves and stop being so distracted by the outside world and go within the more you start to realize everything that i was so anxious about everything that i was so worried about doesn't matter it does not matter because no matter what, it is always going to be there, right? So the more you stress about it, the more that you're making your own body anxious and, and you're getting yourself worked up and overwhelmed for what, though? For what? It is always going to be there. But you have to learn how to work through it and be calm in every hectic situation stay calm be the calm buddha be the calm buddhist be you know that calm soul through every situation understand that they're meant to happen process it however you need to but understand everything happens for a reason nothing in your life is is happening because it wasn't supposed to happen. We are all energy. We are all souls reincarnated into this life, whether it's your first time on earth. We decide to come back on earth for a reason. Everything has a purpose. We are all divinely guided. We are all the chosen ones. As we choose in this lifetime, either to evolve in this lifetime or in the next lifetime, we all have a process of evolvement. And it may not be this lifetime and that is okay. But that does not mean that we are not chosen. We are all chosen. We all choose to reincarnate here. That is all, you guys. That is all I wanted to talk about how the spiritual journey goes and why we're here. And, you know, that everything is one. And I hope you guys are able to, like, listen to it. And whatever resonates with you, let it resonate. If it doesn't, that's fine. You don't need to agree with me. And I'm okay with that. You guys have a beautiful day. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.